Hey everybody, welcome to the DBS Talk Show, Direct TV Edition. I'm your host, Kevin Ryan. In this episode, we're going to go outside the box to show you a couple of features available for Direct TV receivers that help you not only extend your viewing beyond your connected televisions, but also bring in some of your other media to view or listen on those same TVs. And in our quick tip section, what to do if you lose programming on channels you know you receive as part of your package. First up though, an introduction to DirecTV to PC, a way to watch programs from network connected receivers on your home computers. DirecTV to PC starts with a few applications downloaded from directtv.com slash directtv to PC and a DVR that's connected to your home network. During installation, you'll see a couple of references to parental controls. Now the first application you're gonna download is actually a playback advisor that monitors your system, all the hardware within your computer to make sure you've got what's required to be able to play back smoothly direct TV to PC content. So what you'll end up with is a summary of which hardware passes and which does not. Now you're ready to download the main direct TV to PC application, noting here that your parental controls do not transfer over from your DVR. So it's important to keep that in mind. Once you're ready to install the application, you need to go into your email inbox to pick up your activation key, one email address per activation key, and apply that to the installation. Once you're finished with the installation, you are ready to run the application for the first time. When the application first loads, you're presented with a list of network available DVRs from which to play content. Once activated, you are then prompted to download and install compression decompression packs, which allow the programming from your DirecTV DVR to be played on your computer. Now you'll notice as the screen loads for the first time on your playlist, you have blocked titles. That's because you need to go in and edit your parental controls, which have been set by default to a stricter setting. So of course, using your mouse now, instead of your DirecTV remote, since you're on the computer, you can go ahead and set your parental controls. After that, sit back and enjoy your programming because your DirecTV to PC interface is virtually the same as if you were holding your DirecTV remote, except now you're using your mouse, but you have all the controls at your disposal. So that's DirecTV to PC. A reminder that it's a good idea to use a PC that meets the minimum system requirements to make sure you get good streaming video. So using the available Playback Advisor application might be a good idea. Now on to our second story outside the box, MediaShare. MediaShare allows playback of music, photos, videos, and other content to be streamed from your PC through your DirecTV receiver. Here's a basic look at how it works. First off with MediaShare, you again need a network connected DVR and some media server software, which could be quite simple like Windows Media Player or something more powerful, but also more complex like Tiversity. On a Macintosh, you have programs like iConnect and a couple of others. In this case, I'm trying Tiversity for the very first time. As with DirecTV to PC, there are a couple of applications to install, including Codex, which basically means compression decompression, or a way to play various types of media files, like H.264, MPEG-2, etc. In this case, working with Tiversity, they recommend FFD Show Tryout. Once you launch the program, you're taken to their guide, but the library is where it all happens. You can drag and drop files into the program, literally from even a My Video folder. Then you're ready to go to your DVR, and on your DVR, you have a new menu item, music, photos, and more. By selecting that, the servers that are available to you under My Computers will appear. In this case, I'm showing a Windows Media Player server and then also a Tiversity server. So I'll show you a little bit about the Tiversity server. Under the Tiversity server, you have a number of options, audio, photos, video. In this case, I clicked on uh, video to add a couple of items into the all section of movies. And of course, this is my own content right here and a video called Silver Creek. And we're good to go streaming a piece of media from the PC to the DirecTV receiver. As I mentioned earlier, I have a Windows Media Player set up here, a little bit simpler, not as powerful, but Here's an example of being able to play some music. You can even choose to add photos if you have pictures on your media server. And you can get quite simple or you can get quite complex with your application of MediaShare. Now keep in mind, some of the bigger challenges of using MediaShare may lie in videos where live transcoding of content that is not using the codec that's native to DirecTV receivers can be a bit tricky to set up and get working smoothly. 
Check out the forums at dbstalk.com for help in your situation. Finally in this episode, what happens when you see the dreaded 721 error, meaning your receiver is not authorized for a channel, even though you're sure you have that channel in your programming package? One quick and easy solution may be a web browser and your DirecTV account. When you sign into your DirecTV account, you're presented with a number of menu options in the upper right hand side, and what you want to do is go up under the help option and then choose tools. There at the bottom left, you'll see an option to refresh your receiver. Choose any or all of the receivers that are giving you the 721 error, and within just a matter of minutes after you click Refresh Services, your receiver should be good to go. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the DBS Talk Show, Direct TV Edition. Join us next time for more news and tips. Be sure to check out dbstalk.com to get great advice from other users by clicking on the forums for Direct TV and Dish Network. And we'll see you next time on the DBS Talk Show.